this thing turns on. It's a red button. Oh, here it is. Stand back, stand back. A red button. Don't press the red button. Because I can plug it in. I think it's plugged in. Yeah, it is. Do you see any other red buttons on there? Oh, I see it. It's right here. Come on, girls. Let's roll up all this toilet paper. Anybody need to blow your nose? What did we discover, though? We discovered that air pressure creates lip and a big mess. What's your name? Gavin. Gavin? Do you get to blow out birthday candles when it's your birthday? It's kind of fun, isn't it? Trouble is, as you get older, like me, you get so many candles on your cake, it gets kind of dangerous. Yeah, so I just have one birthday candle now. I have to have a, like a fire extinguisher ready and stuff. Anyway, uh, here is my candle, and you can see it's well used. We're going to light this, and we're going to count down from five. When we get to zero, I want everyone to say, happy birthday. We're going to wish everyone a happy birthday. When they say happy birthday, I want you to blow up this candle. Only, I want you to use this pump over here. Push up and down, push up and down. Let's see what's working. Go, 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 go. Harder. Ooh, that feels good. Do it again, do it again. How's it feel on you? Do it again. Do it again. How's this feel? Ah! <laughs> all right, Gavin. Now, pull it all the way up. Keep your feet on there. Keep your feet on there. Now, when they say happy birthday, get your hands on top. When they say happy birthday, I want you to push one time only as hard as you can. Show me how you do it. Go. Good, just like that. Are you ready for this? Okay, you stay right there. Hold it right there. Are you guys ready? Okay, we need to light our birthday candle. It's gonna be a birthday celebration, a birthday celebration, if our candle ever lights. It's going. Now don't push yet, we gotta wait for zero. And you're just gonna push once, right? Okay, get your hands on top. You're gonna be pushing down. We're gonna count down from five. When we get to zero, then we're gonna say happy birthday and he's gonna whoosh, blow it out. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, happy birthday! Did you see that? Should we do that again? Yeah! Let's do that again. Let me show you what happened. Now, right here in this container, I took this little yellow powder. Now this powder, it comes from a plant. They call it organic, because it does come from a plant. In fact, Gavin, if I were to take my little lighter here to this, what do you think would happen? Should I try it? No. No? Yeah. Three, two, one. Now, how come it didn't do here what it did over there? What did you add? Guys, I can't hear him. What did you say? Yeah, you added air. Did you know air with a little bit of dust and a flame could be dangerous? That's why farmers have to be really, really careful when they gather all that wheat and corn in those big, tall silos. They get so much dust in there. What would happen if they walked in there with a flame? Boom! It'd blow up. So they have to be really, really careful. So I'm going to show you again in a safe way how a little bit of dust, a little bit of flame, a little bit of air supplied by Gavin could be dangerous. Now, this isn't going to be dangerous because I've practiced this and it's just a tiny little bit. But you guys know you should not try to do these experiments that I do, right? Unless you've been trained as a professional, like me. <laughs> yeah, we practice this stuff all the time so we don't hurt ourselves. So don't try these experiments at your home or anyone else's home. Are you ready, Gavin? Okay, pull that thing up. We're going to do it again. Pull it up. Did you feel the heat over here? Did you see that flame? All right, we're going to do it again. A little flame. A little bit of dust is already in there. And pretty soon, a little bit of air could be dangerous. All right. Let's count down. Get your hands on top. Five, four, three, two, one. Happy birthday! Oh, good job. Give me five. Let's have a hand for Gavin. Ooh, has anybody ever played air hockey? Air hockey works on air pressure, right? You have a board. 
you have little holes in that board. What comes out of the little hole? Air pressure. And there's a little hockey puck that goes back and forth like that. It looks like this, only a lot smaller. <laughs> this right here is a hovercraft. Now, a hovercraft can travel across land, water, railroad tracks on a cushion of air pressure. This board has a bunch of soft plastic all the way around it. It's called vinyl. And we have little holes cut in the back. What do you think comes out of those little holes? Air pressure. Air pressure. So hopefully this will float like about an inch or so off the ground by using air pressure. You know what we need to get rid of Malibu? Besides Ramses. <laughs> uh, we need to get rid of something called friction. Now friction's important. If you didn't have friction, you couldn't walk across the floor without going woo, <laughs> flying all over the place. You need friction. But sometimes you don't want friction. Like when you're moving a big piano or a big elephant. In our case, Ramses. You're not anything like an elephant though. <laughs> so you know how we're gonna get rid of the friction? We're gonna use air pressure. And I have just a thing, my hair dryer. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it. There, go. there it goes. Woohoo! Ram Cowboy! Yeehaw! <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's go back over this way. Back up a little bit, back up. Look out, look out, look out, look out. Woohoo! Look at him go! <laughs> Whoa, let's go to this way! There you go! Look at him go! Woohoo! Got it? There you go! And back over this way! Let's give him a big hand for Ramsey. How you doing? Are you dizzy? Are you dizzy? You okay? All right, here's a mad science sticker. Don't fall. Here we go. Look at her go. Look at Malibu go. Right him, cowgirl. Yeah. Over this way, around and around, around we go. Where it goes, nobody knows. Yeah. Let's give her a big hand for Malibu. Any air in there? Yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. 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 We're going to do another experiment with you. Uh-oh. It's going to be a lot of fun. Don't do it. It's going to be okay. No. Yes. No. No, 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 no. Okay. So now inside of there, we have air. This now becomes what we call a vortex generator. Now a vortex in nature is when you get a bunch of swirling air. That's a vortex. You get another vortex on top of it, it gets bigger. Another one, another vortex, and pretty soon it's a big, big, big what? Tornado or a twister. That's what this makes. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to force the air out of this like a drum. I'll hit it right there. If I point it right at you, you might feel the air. You might see people's hair move and stuff like, like that. Over there. Or over there. Some over there. Some for you. Over there. Over there. Whoa. Some for you. Some back over there. Over there. Over there. Some. Now, some of you could feel it, but nobody can see it. All right, so we're going to put some fog in here. This is a fog machine. It's like they use in the movies. It's not smoke. Won't hurt you. But it's getting very foggy up here, by the way. <coughs> All right. All right, let's see what it looks like. It looks like that. Over there. Over there. Woo. Some over there. Over there. Over there. One for the camera, another one for the camera. Boo! Sit down, sit down, everybody sit down. Over there! Oh. Over there! One over that way. Let's get the bird. Boo! Over there! And here's one for Ramses. I missed. 
And from Malibu. Let's blow out the candles using the vortex generator. Five, four, three, two, one. Fire! Over there. I think I got too many things in the way. Oh, we got two of them. Ah! We got it. Hot air balloons works on this principle. Hot air rises, cold air sinks because it's heavier or more dense, they call it. So if you've ever seen a picture of a hot air balloon, you know they got a flame, right? They heat up all that air that goes up into the balloon. What would happen if they got way up in the sky and they lost the flame? Ah! Yeah, very messy, very messy. They got to make sure that flame's always working. So I want to do a little experiment about that today. This is going to be my hot air balloon today, a little laundry bag from the laundry department. <laughs> uh, as long as I fill this with hot air, what do you think it'll do? Think it'll go up? And you and I are going to let go at the same time, remember? Okay. Now, Ashley, I think you can let go. Let's see if it stays up. Okay, stand back a little bit, Ashley. Ashley, let go. There we go. Okay, so we're going to count down, then we're going to let go when we get to zero. And you catch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Up, up, and away. Ah! Go catch him. Go catch him. Whoa, should we do it again? Yeah. All right. We're heating up the air. Okay, let go on the top, please. The top, not the bottom. Okay, we're going to let go at the same time. Don't, don't touch it yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Up, up, and away. Ah! Catch him, catch him. Let's give them both a big hand. Hot air balloonists. So what did we discover? Hot air rises. Cold air sinks because it's heavier than hot air. Do you guys like movies that have special effects? I'm thinking of one particular movie today. Jurassic Park. Anybody seen Jurassic Park? The very first Jurassic Park? Well, in that very first movie, there's a scene where two kids and a guy are hiding in a tree. And this dinosaur walks up and it had a cold. Do you remember what it did? It sneezed on that girl. It's like, ah, you, all over the girl. Oh, it's not even funny. But when they're making that movie, Mr. Spielberg came to Mad Science and said, hey, Mad Science dude, do you think I make a dinosaur sneeze about this big? You push a button and it sneezes. He said, yeah, 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 we'll make something about this big. You push a button and yeah, we can do it. So we made a dinosaur sneeze, in fact. I have one with me today. You want to see what it looks like? Yeah. Then it works on air pressure. We have a CO2 cartridge here, carbon dioxide. And you push a button whenever you want it to sneeze. But we got to put some sneeze in here first. A little or a lot? What do you think? A uh, lot! Well, hold on a second. So, a little, right? A lot! A lot! Library, I don't know. More? A lot! More? Yeah! More? Yeah! More? Yeah! More? Yeah! More? Yeah! My boss is going to be upset if I sneeze all over this. I got way too much in here. So I better scoot back a little bit. Okay, stay right where you're at. I think if I do it right here, I can miss everything. Okay, let's count down for our sneeze, though. Okay, you ready? Everybody stay seated. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah, 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 ah. What's with this thing? I... Oh! Oh! Sorry. It slipped. You guys are lucky. That was a baby dinosaur. What if that had been a big granddaddy dinosaur sneeze? You want to see a granddaddy dinosaur sneeze? Okay. You asked for it. Ooh, it's loaded and ready to go. <laughs> Granddaddy dinosaur.